You know you have to face the front and not attempt to talk to anyone. If it happens again, I'll have to make a note for the awarding body, and you may be excluded from the exam. Please be sensible about this. It may be a good idea to approach the candidate and discreetly move their paper. You should record the time and the candidate's number. You know you're not allowed to have notes in the exam. Please hand over that piece of paper. The invigilator will need to make a note of this and retain the piece of paper. The candidate is attempting to cheat and the paper will be required as evidence of this. The invigilator must report this to the exam's officer who will take appropriate action at the end of the exam. Some pupils are disruptive intentionally or otherwise. Stop that, please. You're disturbing everyone else. Noise of any kind can be disruptive and destroy other candidates' concentration. So the invigilator needs to deal with it swiftly by quietly approaching the candidate and asking them to stop. This doesn't happen very often, but if it does, and there are enough invigilators present, you should follow the candidate out of the hall and see if you can calm them down and get them back in. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. Come back in and try and complete the paper. It's hopeless. I can't do any of it. There's no point me staying in there. If you come back and try, at least you have a chance. If you go now, you won't have got no chance anyway. It may not prove possible to calm the candidate down, but at least you've tried. You should then record the candidate's name, number and time of disruption in case other candidates have been affected by the outburst. Everybody stop writing please. That means everybody stop writing please. But miss, we're allowed extra time. Could this be true? Most seating plans give rise to seat numbers in a snake effect across the hall. So, to collect in candidate number order, you have to be careful, or you'll give yourself a lot of sorting out later.